Welcome everyone, Kostin here with a new playthrough of Game of Thrones. The reason I'm restarting this is because I lost my save files, so I have to do it all over again if I want to play episode uh, 6. And the thing is I want to make certain uh, changes in terms of the choices I'm making, so that's the reason. Also I'll be able, uh, be able to provide perhaps better commentary than the last time around uh, this time, since I you know, know what's going on. The game series adapts the choices you make. Okay, the story is tailored by how you play. Not quite to that level, Telltale. For thousands of years, House Forester have been loyal bannermen to House Stark of the North. In the darkest reaches of the Wolfswood, they harvest the rare ironwood trees. Now the North has been ripped apart by war and rival houses. Seek to claim Forester Ironwood for themselves. In the fight, the fate of House Forester hangs in the balance. The great Jamie Lannister. Kingslayer, both breaker, brought to his knees by the men of the north. And set free by the women. You'd think he done it himself the way he tells it. Lord Forrester's sword won't clean itself, you know. Make sure it's spotless this time. Lord Forrester won't be happy with blood and brains all over it. Now that is a proper sword. I'll have one like it myself someday. You? You'll never have a sword like that. And I say that as a friend. I mean, if we're being honest, you are just a squire. I will. You'll see. Of course, your lordship. After you take your rightful place on the Iron Throne. I had Andy, you know. <laughs> Andy what? Capturing him. He was nowhere near the Kingslayer at the Whispering Wood. He was so drunk, he barely made it out of his tent. Next, he'll tell us he caught Tyrion, too. <laughs> so what really happened? Someone caught him, I suppose. That's Kenny Man here, and they'll say it was them. You captured the Kingslayer? Aye. Well, I had a hand in it. Aye. A hand round his ankle as ten others took him down. <laughs> See? What did I tell you? I brought him to his knees. Lord Forrester. But not before he dragged you halfway across the battlefield on your face. You're questioning <laughs> Norrin's honor. I'm questioning Norrin's story, which grows more far-fetched every time he tells it. Get your liege lord some wine. Go on. Right, thanks. You're welcome. Thank you, Garrett. I'll do it. Norrin's family has faithfully served House Forrester for centuries. His honor is beyond reproach. House Tully is forever in his debt. You've never seen a field ploughed so well as the day the Kingslayer dragged poor Norrin across the battlefield. <laughs> Fetch your cup. Tonight we celebrate. <laughs> to Rob Stark, the King in the North! The King 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 Tomorrow, we march on Casterly Rock, and House Forrester has been given the greatest honor to lead the Young Wolf's army and ride as the vanguard. The gods have favored us. Onward to Casterly Rock! Aye! Death to the Lannisters! Aye! The North remembers! Aye! Got it. Yes, my lord? I need you to keep an eye out for Roderick. As his father, I could not be more proud of the man he's become. On a night like this, men find false courage at the bottom of their cups. I'd rather he were here. Yes, my lord. There's also the question, what's to be done with you? It's been on my mind for a while now. Something must be done. What do you mean? You've served House Forrester well for several years now. 
but I can't expect you to squire forever. How shall I reward your loyalty? What can I offer you? You serve me well. Let me fight for you, my lord. You've more than proven your ability on the battlefield. No man would question that. There were those who had their doubts when your uncle put forth your name as my squire. But you've erased those doubts entirely. It would be an honor to see you riding by Roderick's side in the vanguard tomorrow. Not as a squire, but as the equal of any man who serves House Forrester. It's well deserved, Garrett. Thank you, my lord. I promise. I won't let you down. That I don't doubt. But for now, keep this between us. We're celebrating tonight. I wouldn't want the other squires to feel discouraged. Yes, my lord. Now go, and find Roderick if you can. I will, my lord. Thank you. Bloody hell. Empty. Squire! Fetch us more wine! Can you give me a hand? Come on. Can I get up to you? Yeah, no problem. I have been a squire longer than you. So? I outrank you. You should help me. We'll see about that particular point. Fetch more wine, scrub my armor, clean my boots. Just my luck to end up with Norin while you serve the Lord. Let him fetch his own wine for once. He's a drunk, a liar, and an arrogant prick. You'd better watch your tongue, Bowen. It could be much worse. What the fuck do you know about it? Nothing is worse than Norin. See, that's where you're lucky. Low expectations. If I'd grown up covered in pig shit, shovel and slop, well, maybe I'd think saddling his horse was the greatest honor in the Seven Kingdoms. I suppose this beats pig farming. But not by much. Don't get angry with me. We're no different, you and I. Aye, but I'm not the son of a pig farmer. My father had dignity. <laughs> All I'm saying is, at this rate we'll never be more than this, which is nothing. The lowest of the low. For all I know, we could be squires for life. All in wine around a fucking wedding. What a waste of fucking time. Give it time. You'll get there. Or easy for you to say. Maybe if my uncle were castling at House Forester, I'd feel different. Who my uncle is has nothing to do with it. How much further? It's right over there. The Red Wedding. Ooh. Take your time. You lot have drunk your share. Good thing Lord Walders. In a generous mood. Yes. Phrase. Very That's generous. For a wedding. Not often he finds a willing husband for one of his daughters. Don't expect me to carry it for you, Sir Garrett. What's wrong? Just gotten into you. You're acting rather odd. You've had too much wine. Nothing. I'm fine. I'm so glad to hear it. I'll take the fucking flagon already. What's wrong with him? Something the matter? Bowen, we have to go. You go if you're in such a rush. <laughs> but what about... What the hell was that about? Slow down, would you? What's the rush? There's no need to fucking run. We have to warn the others. Warn them about what? There's no time to explain. We need to find Roderick. He's out there by himself. to get back to camp. Let the slaughter commence. All right. Good right. 
Garen. We have to get back. I can't throw the king. Ooh. You think that little dagger is gonna stop me? Have some uh, iron wood. Ready, boys! Whoa! Shoot that one! Your execution's not gonna work. down Look out Not that it changes anything still Grab a sword, you damn fool. How exactly did he get his face injured by the horse? <laughs> That's not something I understand. Got it. Did you find Roderick? Speak up, Garrett. Did you see him or not? The Freys. They... they slaughtered him, my lord. Find a weapon. Quickly! While there's still time. Seven hells. You're wounded, my lord. I've suffered worse. Well, the phrase says time to. <gasps> This with your life. Return it to Ironrath, where it belongs. There's no time to waste. I'll be damned if I let it fall into the hearts of those traitors. Well, the free you have to go. You're welcome. To the fucking torch. I, I won't leave you, you my lord. Can, and you will. My lord, By I... the gods, you will obey me. Tell your uncle. <laughs> Tell him, the North Grove must never be lost. Tell no one but him. Do you understand? You must swear. Tell only your uncle Duncan. The future of the house may depend on it. I swear that I will, my lord. Hey, it's those foresters. Now go. On your honor, you must do this for your house. Go! Kill those <clears throat> fucking foresters! <laughs> 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 We love Sean the Frey! And they just let them go? <laughs> I mean, they saw him, absolutely.
If I remember correctly from the books, the whole we love from all the Frey quote was actually from the books during the Red Wedding. Or the book chapter during the Red Wedding. You know, I've read quite a few books during my life, uh, quite a few fiction, you know, alternate history, fan fiction, plenty of books basically of all types. The Red Wedding chapter with Caitlyn, because it's from her pers perspective, the Red Wedding chapter is one of the best chapters I've ever, uh, ever read of a fiction, of any description. It's, it's the impact, it's the the subtleties, the build-up to it. And I'm saying someone who didn't give a piss about the Starks and who didn't really like Caitlyn or Rob, that that chapter was a very hard one to read and it was still one that's really uh, good even to this day and age. Like, I knew what was gonna happen, I didn't like the Starks, I didn't care, uh, and, you know, I still consider it a phenomenal chap chapter in itself. Uh, there. Like, that was George's high watermark, as far as I'm concerned. Nothing else quite matches that. I mean, the B Battle of Blackwater is absolutely great, but... You know, that's several chapters. Mm, anyway. This, by the way, is... Like, I haven't seen anything in this game that's... Like, not following the book canon. Nor- I haven't seen anything to... Blood. Yes, blood, Garrett. Fresh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I haven't seen anything that would make it inconsistent with either the books or the show. That's a good job on Telltale's part. Hmm, do I even have high textures? High res textures enabled. Let me see on this subject. Codex explains some of the characters. Lord Forrester. Oz Forrester is a small... Well, not small. That's small. Alright, so I do have it enabled. Yeah, House Forrester is a relatively... Um, important house. Even though it's not one of the strongest houses in the north, it's still a fairly important house because of its ironwood production. Anyway, Costine here on Serious Gaming, saying out that's just the beginning. <laughs>